Cinema 4D Release 14 offers numerous workflow and interface enhancements to help you work faster and smarter. While these sometimes seem to be small changes, they combine to save you time and frustration, speeding up your individual workflow as well as your workgroup pipeline. One of the first things you're likely to notice is that objects are now highlighted as you hover over them, and selected objects are now indicated by an orange border surrounding the actual geometry, replacing the bounding boxes used in prior releases. In each view, you can choose to enable or disable wireframes and customize the width of the outline. There's options in the preferences to adjust the color of both the highlight and outline. With these options, you'll enjoy a cleaner, more interactive view of your 3D scene. A key workflow enhancement is the new Raycast Selection Mode, which allows you to quickly select objects or components while the Move, Scale, or Rotate tools are active by simply dragging over them with the right mouse button pressed. The new Commander makes it easy to find and activate a specific tool or command via a filtered search box that appears directly under the cursor. You can even apply tags to selected objects. Simply type a few letters of the name and click or use the arrow keys to select the appropriate command. Your most recent choices are remembered, so you can often execute repeated commands by simply typing a single character and hitting enter. A new integrated task management system allows you to add to-do items to any object via a tag or as part of a timeline marker. All the tasks appear in a list within the project settings where you can edit notes and mark the items done. The XREF system, introduced in Release 13, now features options to offset the animation, scale, and pivot of the reference scene. Changes to the points, parameters, or PSR data in the master scene can be stored as absolute values or relative to the value in the reference scene. Parameters that have been changed in the master scene appear within the XREF manager and can be flushed to revert to the value stored in the referenced file. The XREF can also act as a generator, loading the referenced objects directly into the cache without displaying them in the object manager. There are also new options within the project settings and layer panel to control whether specific objects or layers are included, shown, or locked when the scene is referenced. There are also several tweaks to streamline your animation workflow. The animation path in the view now clips to the preview range specified in the power slider, so you can focus on tweaking specific movements. There's also a new option to display a sound waveform in the F-curve window, allowing you to sync animation to audio with greater ease. Whether you work solo or as part of a team, you're sure to benefit from the many enhancements to Cinema 4D's interface and workflow.